So we're somewhere in Snowdonia in Wales. Um, I pulled up on the side of the road because I saw a, a big power station and there's a bit of a, a walk round. Uh, can you hear that power? I don't think I've ever been that close to one throbbing so much. This is a bit of a tester then. Um, obviously it's been a while since we've done anything. Uh, so we're going to see how this goes and uh, that's it really. See you in a bit. I don't know if that buzz is still coming through from the power station. Um, it looks like it might rain so I don't know if it's dangerous to walk underneath those pylons when it's uh, chucking it down, but hopefully it'll hold off for a bit. It's gone a bit cold. You still hear the cables crackling, you probably can't hear it there. So, what have we done? I've come to Wales for a week and uh, just mooching about, really. Not really done anything. I went to. Uh, Land Dudno yesterday. Probably going to Aberystwyth later on this afternoon, so I'm sort of driving across Snowdonia. Um, still hear that crackling. Um, so I saw this just on the side of the road, this power station uh, sign. And thought I'd take a look. Um, it seems to be dominated, the walk light seems to be dominated by the power station. It's cabling. I don't know how it all works, but. I can't remember how to do this. I can't remember how to work the camera. I can't remember. It's just, it's like I've forgotten everything. You sort of get a bit of a format going and uh, I stuck to it for a bit and then it all went to the wall. So that was a bit round the wood. This is the main entrance. Um, really sure whether I'm supposed to be in here or not. I'm sure it said something about a lake. Or something. Um. So it looks like it's a it's like a conference centre. It's right next to the power station. I'm not even going to try and pronounce what it says on the signs. Uh, There's like some surveying work going on over there, and uh, a bit of fishing. But apart from that, it's pretty, it's pretty quiet. It's like a, an outshoot of rocks there. And I don't know if that's a dam or something. It's, I don't know. It's too cold to swim though. So according to the sign, it's a nuclear power station. Um, are they all nuclear now? No, surely not. But it's a big old unit. And it looks like you can walk all the way around this, this pond. I don't know if that's, I don't know if the pond's anything to do with it. I don't know if it's anything to do with the calling or something. I'm on about. I think uh, Sellafield's the only one I knew that was. You saw it went, there was like, it used to kick off a real fuss, didn't he, in the 80s about Sellafield. And then it died off, and then I think these probably just cropped up all over the place. I think this one's quite old, though. It looks it. Looks like something out of a Call of Duty game. 
coming out anyway. I keep threatening to bring the push bike when I come because it's quite a lot of cycle tracks I seem to be missing out on but it just takes up so much room in the van I could get a like a, a back rack in that but I think it draws attention to you a little bit I might just squeeze it in there next time I come I reckon they've changed a load of the speed limits in Wales in the built up areas because I'm sure it used to be 30 and it's 20 in a lot of them now which is really slow um, but I mean I get it in some places because like the buildings are quite tight to the road and that but I don't know it's their rules I suppose so around the back now this is the perimeter fence the old buildings over there and what looks like a big mountain of concrete which I'm guessing is probably something to do with the used up uranium I'm not an expert on it but I'd expect it to be more noisy I used to be quite well organised um, coming out on these walks. I'd get a map and I even had a, what do you call it, that map ranger or whatever it is on my phone. And you could download all the maps. It didn't matter whether you got internet or anything. You could just see where you were going or where you were. But all that's gone now. It's on the old phone. And, and I'm sort of, I'm not lost. But... Uh, I definitely don't know where I am. I've just been up the wrong track up there and ended up on God knows where, a farm in the middle of absolutely middle of nowhere with about 30 dogs and they all went mental. So I quickly turned around and came back the other way. I have just seen a one of those yellow um, National, is it National Trust Arrow thing to say that you're allowed to walk on this bit. So at least I'm all right where I am now. But um, I, I ain't a clue where I am. I've got a rough idea of direction, uh, but even that, even that power station now, you can't, you can't see the top of it anymore. So uh, I'm hoping this comes back round on itself, because if it doesn't, I'm in trouble. And of course, I'm not fit, so uh, my heart could give way at any time. So after climbing over a few gates, I finally found the road and I found one of these. And then luckily over there is the power station. So at least I got a point of reference there. But uh, I'm out of breath. So finally found my way back to the van. It was a little bit further than I was expecting, but it's good to get back into it. Listen, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.